Dogs have long been known as man's best friend. Canines are loyal and lovable, and they often provide comfort, protection, and other services to their human counterparts. However, they can also be dangerous. Depending on the owner and how he has raised and trained his dog, any dog can pose a threat. Even small dogs might bite someone. In fact, chihuahuas sink their teeth into vets more often than any other type of pooch. But certain breeds can cause greater harm simply because of their size or the force of their bite. Based on the damage they can do, in this video we have listed 10 of the dog breeds you should fear the most. Let's get on with it. Number 10. Akita Inu The Akita Inu is one of the most fearsome guard dogs to originate from Japan. They're perhaps second only to the Tosa Inu, which were bred as fighting dogs. Even today, the Akita has remained the national dog breed and is a symbol of Japan. These dogs are confident, independent, and bred to provide world-class protection for any family. On the flip side, they can be suspicious and aloof around strangers. They'll sometimes perceive unfamiliar people as dangerous, whether they are or not. As a result, their protective instincts kick in and they will probably attack you to defend. A dog with the physical strength and size of an Akita can certainly do a lot of damage. So be careful when you go to a house that has an Akita standing guard. Number 9. American Bulldog American Bulldogs are often described as friendly, social, and docile dogs. If properly socialized and trained, there should be no reason for them to show aggression. Some owners interpret their dog's reluctance to comply with instructions as a lack of intelligence. But really, they're just a little bit stubborn. In actuality, responsibility for this falls on the owner. A bulldog won't do your bidding or obey your commands if you aren't a firm and consistent leader of the pack or family. The fact that these dogs are not easy to train and control raises a concern. Perhaps the fact that some of these bulldogs have the potential to become dangerous and attack is because their owners did not adequately train them. Number 8. German Shepherd German Shepherds are the bread and butter of any reputable canine unit. Many believe they're synonymous with police dogs. But because they're so dependable for fighting crime, this also means if put in a bad situation, they can become dangerous. The typical family-owned German Shepherd believes it has one job and purpose, to protect the family. With this kind of mentality, accidents have the potential to happen. As long as your German Shepherd perceives someone or something as being dangerous to the pack, they will attack and defend. And not many people can withstand a German Shepherd attack. Number 7. Doberman Pinscher Dobermans tower over other dogs at 28 inches tall and can weigh up to 100 pounds. Without a doubt, these dogs are powerful creatures. And because they have so much strength, they need to be trained early on. The biggest concern with raising a large dog breed is the ability to properly execute obedience training. Sure, they are in fact intelligent dog breeds. However, their dominant nature and size can make them somewhat difficult for some people to train. Many owners will describe their Doby as loyal, obedient, energetic, alert, and courageous. But chances are, they were successful with training. Keeping a Doberman requires extra attention, and those who fail to provide it are more likely to be the ones with Dobermans that contribute to the attacks. Number 6. Alaskan Malamute Malamutes are generally not aggressive dogs. Most owners will even tell you that they're good with people, and especially with kids. However, the main problem is that the Malamute, like with the Husky, has a ton of energy that needs to be directed towards something productive. Failure to do so can potentially lead to aggressive behavior. When a Malamute exhibits aggression, it is probably due to neglectful owners. These dogs need both physical and mental stimulation in order to maintain healthy living, both in mind and body. An inability to release pent-up energy usually leads to destructive behavior, including attacking strangers. These dogs can weigh up to 100 pounds, so encountering an aggressive Alaskan Malamute could certainly prove to be dangerous. Number 5. Rottweiler 
Although the Rottweiler is generally a good-natured dog, they will do whatever it takes to protect their pack. Most owners describe them as loyal, fearless, courageous, and confident, all of which are fantastic temperament characteristics for the perfect family dog. But Rottweilers are also considered to be one of the most dangerous breeds. Devoted and obedient to its owner and a great guardian, the only chance of survival when attacked by a Rottweiler is to be passive. The Rottweiler won't pose a threat to people it knows and trusts, but outsiders, including unfamiliar people, are quite a different story. Rottweilers, especially males, don't distinguish between jocular playful aggression and real aggressive action. So they have been known to bite a stranger, even if they are just trying to have fun. So don't try to joke or play with an unfamiliar Rottweiler. Number four, Pitbull. If we're looking at plain statistics, then pit bulls are considered to be the most dangerous breed of dog. Despite earning the title of most dangerous dog, pit bulls can actually be sweet dogs. There are no bad dogs, but there are bad people who may treat these dogs in such a manner that they develop aggressive behaviors, thus becoming dangerous. They're loyal, friendly, and really do love people. And if socialized and trained properly, a pit bull can be one of the best companion dogs. Unfortunately, many pit bull related attacks are believed to be carried out by dogs with irresponsible owners. Some people are abusive towards their pit bulls or specifically train them to attack and be vicious. And there is no reason to not be afraid of pit bulls like that. Number three, Bully Cuda. The nickname of the Bully Cuda, Beast of the East, says it all. They were originally bred to be great hunters and guardians. However, their massive size and aggressive nature have made them popular fighting dogs in India and Pakistan. They stand around 30 to 44 inches tall and can weigh up to 170 pounds. Unfortunately, these dogs still participate in illegal dog fights today. Extensive socialization and training with a firm hand is required for this dog breed. But even socialization with other dogs may be risky at a certain age. They may seem playful at first, but play fights with other dogs can quickly escalate into something with fatal consequences. It's safe to say that you should be cautious around a bully cuda. Number two, Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is a prize fighting dog breed originating from Japan. These dogs were bred to fight and protect and not much more. In fact, they are considered so dangerous that they've been banned in many countries. In countries where the breed is allowed, owners are often required to apply for a permit to keep a Tosa. Even some prefectures of Japan have banned the breeding of these dogs. If you plan to keep a Tosa, you must be very careful. They are only recommended for the most experienced dog owners and trainers. There are very few things that would be scarier than this 150 pound Japanese Mastiff charging straight at you. Number one, Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a Chinese dog breed, most well known for its blackish blue tongue and lion-like mane. Like the other dogs on this list, it has been the subject of many reported cases of attack. Perhaps people underestimate this dog because it looks so cute. But if they are not socialized properly, aggressive behavior is relatively common with Chow Chows. The best way to avoid any mishaps with a Chow Chow is through early and consistent socialization as a puppy. This breed of dog is loyal, independent-minded, and quiet. However, they're naturally protective and can sometimes be possessive as well. If this behavior is left unchecked, as often happens, aggressive behavior in adulthood is a real possibility. So if you meet a Chow Chow, don't try to embrace or touch it. That concludes our video about the 10 breeds of dog that you should fear the most. Can you think of any other dog breed that should be on the list? Which is your favorite breed of dog? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, then subscribe and turn on notifications so that you'll be the first to know when the next new video comes out. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.